Stash Smash Saturday. The second one we have going, or actually, is this the first one for February? No, this is the second one. <laughs> I don't know what day this. Second one for February, which is awesome. I'm also combining it with Scrap 5. I did that last month too, and it worked out really, really well. And this month, it's going to work out great too. So if you have not seen this yet, Stash Smash Saturday, Becky and I, she is Rebecca over here on YouTube and on her Facebook and Instagram. She will be linked down below. Her and I got together right before the year started, and we're discussing that, you know, we both have so many collections that we just put aside, and there's just this much left or kits that were just we played with it too much and we set it aside and we haven't finished or we barely played with it and we just want to use it up so we're trying to smash as many collections or kits that we can this year is the goal and we're doing that stash smash style um every saturday we also of course had to challenge ourselves and give ourselves more things to try to use up in our stash as well so we have each picked seven items for each other that we need to try to use on each layout we had different items each month last month i had different seven items this month i have a different set of seven items from becky she chose mine i chose hers and um we chose seven just because it's a good number and that way as long as you get five of them on too if you finally use up one of those items you still have like a buffer to use for a couple of layouts because we're you know we change it up every month so there's only maybe four to five um, times that you're going to be using those things when you're doing your stash smash so I have for you or for this lovely stash smash I have two photos of my niece mowing down on her ice cream cake so that's what we're going to scrapbook today. I've got photo play, uh, Tula's birthday party. So Becky would argue, and she would be right, that this is already smashed. There is no 12 by 12 paper left. There isn't. But since I'm combining it with scrap five, I figured this one would be perfect. There's big enough pieces left that I'm like, I can create a layout with this. This is no problem. So I've got some scraps of um, papers. I've got the entire sticker sheet tons of it left and it's perfect that I'm going to be using um birthday cake photos and then I just grabbed a piece of white cardstock so the seven items that Becky wants me to try and use are chipboard a cut file doilies ink gems washi and letter stickers so I'm going to show you right now I already got gems pulled I've got these chipboard birthday themed. I don't remember what collection they're from, but they're very birthday themed. They have some very similar colors, so we're gonna use those. Chipboard, so I've got chipboard, gems. I've grabbed my doilies from Shadney's Etsy shop. I'm gonna be doing some inking, but I'm gonna do some stamping. And um, I grabbed at least two washi. Uh, I think I gotta change this one out because this is too this is too blue blue. We need more of a turquoise. So, but I grabbed this yellow chevron. Here, that's more aqua y. We'll do that one. And I believe these were from a Jen um, Hatfield collection. I'm pretty sure it was like a rainbow washi. I think yeah, I think it was. I think it was her collection last year, um, last spring. Uh, so I grabbed two washi. And so I've got my washi, I've got my gems, I'm gonna be doing some stamping. I grabbed doilies and I have chipboard. I don't know if I'm gonna do letter stickers yet. I might just be using these um, as my title. So I at least have five of my seven items already. So like I had said, I'm doing scrap five as well. And those items um, that we are using today are scrap lift, cardstock background. So I grabbed a piece of white cardstock stamping which I've grabbed some LA studio stamps hearts there I'm gonna use these heart stamps and I grabbed some puffy hearts and um, what else I gotta look oh splatters so I will splatter after I stamp but my scrap lift is gonna be this lovely layout from Stacy Dietz of paper issues love this I thought it'd be perfect all the layers of the colors behind the photo I can stamp in different colors with my stamps and I will use hearts at the same time but using everything great combination of items so I've got all these items I pulled together let's get started hey guys so I'm gonna try a few videos over the next week or so um, with this semi real uh, 
semi real time process if you don't mind um, just because I'm trying to get a bunch of videos done on my time off and so it just cuts down on some of the editing so that's what I'm gonna do so you have to let me know if you like that or not so what I've done so far is I took all the scrap pieces of paper and I just matted I cut my photos down a little bit and then I matted just layers on layers and layers and I really liked the chipboard you can see that there's a frame uh, I will have the layout that I'm scrap lifting by Stacy up in the corner. You can see that she has a gray frame around. I really, really like that. Um, so I grabbed this one from a fall collection. Now, it does not go technically at all, but I really liked bringing in the gray. And then, really, these flowers kind of, I mean, they kind of go. It might look a little odd. Um, but they kind of go, obviously this happy fall does not, we're going to cover that up. So I was thinking about tucking my photo in here and then cutting the frame and then adding the other corner up there. So I have just this big frame part. So I'm going to do that. We're going to, and then we'll cover up this happy fall. Um, and let's see what we can do with cutting the frame, if we can add a corner of that. I just really liked the idea of that. And so we're going to see if it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But why not try, right? And so now I'm just going to have a corner here that maybe I can tuck in to my layers. And if I add actually a few more few more layers I might be able to successfully tuck it or I can add something to um, kind of hide the ends was my thought but I really liked the idea of just having that little bit of frame I think we can do that I think we can do that I think I'm just going to stick it right there and then we will add things to hide that. Okay. That's my plan. And I wanted to get my photo layered and all that thing before I start stamping because I don't want to do any unnecessary stamping um, was my thought. So that was another reason I'm doing all this right now. Did I not put glue on any of the parts that I'm actually going to stick down? Probably not. I'm going to tuck it I'm going to put glue there I'm going to put glue there okay so then I just have a few pieces left I wanted to put more of this ribbon paper so let's hide that right here and then that'll hide that edge and I can put on a little bit more behind there too Cut. and this is really all there is besides the stamping so I want this to be big I want this to be bold I don't want it to be simple just because I don't I don't do simple <laughs> I, don't, I don't do I don't do simple okay because I got a little bit of that poking out there a little bit of that poking out there um yeah we'll cover that up this maybe be with that I don't really know if this frame goes I mean it probably doesn't but I like I wanted to use something of it and then I'm using some more of my chipboard oh yeah I have chipboard owl pick birthday things I need to add to this that can maybe cover that stuff up and these are kind of more of the muted colors too and actually this is the exact same color as that This would be perfect right there. There's no sticky left, so we're gonna. Like it never happened. Oh, I wanna use this, because I think I'm gonna make a pretty big title and I'm gonna say, have your cake, and then we'll do and eat it too, okay? So I don't know if I'll use all of these things as well, but we're going to have them. But I do want to use this and. I could put that and then eat it too. can go here. Oh yeah, I was thinking about 
just covering this up with another banner. I wonder if I should just do the bright pink. Just do a bright pink banner. And I can have it coming from the ampersand. Okay. Let's do that. Ooh, a bright pink banner framed. Or a green banner framed by pink. How about that? I'm just guessing on my measurements. I am not, I'm not a measurer. <laughs> I don't measure, I don't measure diddly. This could go a little bit narrower, I think. Yeah. We're gonna go with one inch. It's one inch, if you guys wanna know. It's one inch. <laughs> this is, this is what I do. I don't measure. Okay, let's see how that looks. Ooh, I like that together a lot and put it on the ampersand cover up that red orange perfect I think I can make this one a little shorter because then the rest of my title can go on here yeah Okay, I really like that. All right, so now I will have my giant paper layer photo collage thingamajig. Oh, I like that. Just a little pop of gray. I like that a lot. Okay. Add some more glue because I was just adding some to add the layers. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find uh, an alpha and that's one of my things, uh, letter stickers. So I'm going to go find an alpha to put, um, eat it to here and I'm probably going to need to pop this up, so we're going to put some foam behind that really quick. I've got washi to use yet, too. I'm going to put the foam down like that. That should be better. Yep. That should help. We're going to glue this down better. Oh. layers down better. I love messy layers, honestly. Like, it's one of my favorite things. Okay. Oh, I keep bending that. Don't do that, Jackie. Cut into the paper a little. Um, I could even put the little birthday cake over here. Oh, that'd be cute. A little cupcake. Okay, so I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'm gonna go find letters and do eat it to here and figure out what letter stickers I'm gonna do for my title. And um, then yeah, you guys will, and then I can tuck this back here. Um, and then we'll get stamping. So all I have left then for papers is this tiny pink piece, this tiny green piece this tiny blue piece and then this green piece. This is big enough, I will keep that and do something with it. The other ones recycle, oh yeah, and this pink piece. These are big enough scraps, like if I ever need to die cut something, these are perfect. So these are gonna stay right in front. So that, I mean, this kit is killed for paper. I'm gonna use stickers yet um, and we're gonna stamp. So be right in between pausing um, to figure some things out, I shifted things. And so I'm hoping, I feel like you can just see more of my mat now. And then you can see, actually see my trimmer a little bit, which is crazy because it doesn't, I don't think the camera feels like it should. But anywho, um, so I grabbed, I put these, these are Bella Boulevard 
um, stickers. And I just, whenever I have an opportunity to use a two instead of the word two, I'm going to try because that way you can get those numbers used up. I don't ever. And then I grabbed these pink ones and I have just enough. It'll be perfect um, for have your cake. So we'll do that on top after we get everything else down and we'll add stickers and gems and washi and doilies and maybe some of these. I don't know if we'll use these gold ones um, just because I have these silvery sparkly gems. So I think we're going to set the gold things off to the side because we're going to have hearts in the background. So, um, but we'll add all that and see if we want to add more of this chipboard uh, at the end. So I'm going to move all this off to the side and we're going to get stamping. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm going to get out my lovely Journals for Life foam pad for stamping. It only is going to cover some of it, but that's okay. I'll do a little bit at a time. So that is fine. So I'm just going to get that underneath my paper. All right. So this, oh, I'm looking, I got stuff on my paper already. This is where this is going to go. And if we're following, um, she's got just like little bits. She's got like four on each side. So that'll be perfect. So we'll do some, we'll just do four little um, areas on the background. And then we're going to add a bunch of splatters of the same colors. So what I've gone ahead and done is I went to my Pink Fresh Ink Cubes. And I grabbed uh, Persimmon. Mermaid Cove, Grassy Knoll, Sunshine, Raspberry Bliss, and Sparkling Rose. I thought those matched uh, more, and um, so we're going to use those to stamp. And I'm not going to do every color in each er in, um, the areas. I'm going to try to almost color block it, I feel like, is my thought. Um, so we've got eight, so I might do like pink and pink, yellow and green, these two, and then like these two. We'll see. What I haven't really decided what I want to do. But I do know that we're going to be using, um, I think we're going to use a combination of, see, I have some lines here too. And then I really like these stamps, but these are fun too. And this, I have lines as well. So I think we're going to try to use some, but then these are solid hearts, but then this is hearts. I don't know. We could always. So yeah, I'm not too worried about placement then. We're just going to make two columns just like Stacy did. So I'm going to move that off to the side. Um, let's see. Let's play. We can always flip the paper over if we don't like it. So that's always a plus. Get my two sets. Oh gosh, it's expensive. Two sets ready. And let's try. Let's do... liking the idea of doing these ones. I can flip this so we don't see that line. We can make ours a little bit bigger. These are all the thoughts that go in my head. Okay, let's try. Let's try this. What stinks about these borders is that they can go crooked very easily. So getting them straight on your stamping block is very important. I'm going to make two little clusters. And I don't know if I want us to keep it consistent and make it the same for every one. Let's, let's just, let's try it, shall we? So how I'm going to get the multiple ink effect is I'm just going to actually ink it with both inks. I can already tell that that one's crooked. Not cool. We're going to do this one right here. Ugh, that's messy. Did this, why is this ridge, why is this up? It's because it's resting on that other one. See, this is why it's good to like practice. <laughs> I don't 
don't know if I like that line. I think I like just doing the, the heart. Mm -hmm. Or, I thought that one, or... Mm -hmm. Ooh, sorry. I really enjoyed this one a lot. If we do a bunch of lines with that. Yeah, let's do that. I like that better. Okay. Sorry, heart border, you're out. Okay. Ta da! All right. So we are gonna. Ugh, they're all dirty. It's because my mat can't stay clean. <laughs> my glass. <laughs> all right. Let's let's get stamping, shall we? All right. We're gonna use this one. start with the light pink it's, it's straightish you guys know me I don't care I'm gonna tilt them a little Give a little interest. <gasps> I'm okay with the colors mixing a tiny bit. And then let's add the red in there. Or the red orange, whatever color you want to call it. Oh, I like it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do this whole column first. Like I said, it's kind of a bummer. You're not gonna see some of it, but that's okay. Space, and we'll put the other green one in the middle there. Yeah, we're just going to do different combos. This is like a turquoise. I should get my stamp cleaner out. But why would I want to do that? because I was layering on the color, it's gonna look a little different, which is kind of cool. Okay, <laughs> that was an accident. All right, I'm gonna finish stamping this and then I'm just gonna do splatters by squishing these on my glass mat and a little bit of water and a uh, paintbrush. Okay, so we'll do that. And okay. I'll I love the way this turned out. This turned out so good. So we're gonna put this right there. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's good, okay. Um, so I'm going to get out washi. We're going to add a couple things of washi in different places, I think, because we don't have any yellow layers. So I'm going to do kind of a layer of washi right here of yellow to pop out. Perfect. Or actually, I should lower this down a little. So I did um, mostly four lines, but in the three places I did five lines. I just figured I would change it up a little. There, move it down a little bit. And 
some washi behind, just a little pop of yellow. I love that. Let's add a little bit of aqua. Okay. Added our washi. Let's add the gems can be sprinkled around. Let's add a doily behind this hoot hoot hooray. <laughs> These are a bunch of small doilies from Shadney's shop. A little bit of yellow over there. Oh, I love that. Sorry, that looks cute. <laughs> Do I have another yellow one? Can I add it over here? Um, and I could actually cut it and maybe add a little bit on top too. Okay. Oh, have you? Another one. I need to just use them. I'm fine with this. This is fine. Do a third one. I love that. Okay. And then just gems and my title. Oh my gosh. We're almost done. And then if I want to add some of these stickers, we'll see. Um, oh yeah, this is Mickey Mouse birthday. So this is, this is also her second birthday. That was another reason. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was her second birthday and that's why I was thinking to do that. But all right, we're just gonna take these out, put some tear tape on them because I don't want to screw up where everything is sitting. Oh, I love it. Okay. So we're gonna glue this down and then put our title up top. All right, I just tucked a few of the stickers from the sticker sheet around. Um, I don't have a two, it was her second birthday, so I really wish I would have, but I'll have more photos of this, so I'm not too worried. We're gonna go ahead, these are just um, Park Lane, so that's, uh, I, it's that Joanne's like um, collection or like line. They just, I'm just going to sprinkle some of these gems around. I think they glue down pretty good by themselves, like um, a lot of enamel dots. Sprinkle some up in here. Kind of like confetti, you know. right after this to fill that space in there I think I think we've done it uh, here we'll put one more out here we'll do a little trilogy here of each sparkle all right and then I only have two of these chipboard left, which is awesome. And this, what I love about this one is technically it was in this birthday line, but this could go for anything. And then this is a glass of lemonade. I have her sister's birthday party, which was lemonade themed that I could totally use those for, uh, which I should also start. But I love this. Have your cake and eat it too. And then I'll probably just journal a little bit right here. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this type of format. Um, and yeah, we'll be some close-ups here right after this. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.